Hi, everybody. I'm Rebecca. And I'm Landon. And we are Mormonish. And this is a very special update that we are doing for the Mormon News Roundup, isn't it? Yep. Yep. It is. And the topic is the Cody Temple. We just recently did an episode on the Cody Temple, which was, I would say, well received, wouldn't you? Yeah, absolutely. We had a way more people than we thought would uh, would be watching that. So it's definitely a, a, a timely topic. It's a timely topic. Yep. About. This is happening right now in Cody, Wyoming, um, with the LDS Church building a temple and the residents, a citizens group called Preserve Our Cody's Neighborhood. Our Cody neighborhood um, is trying to have the temple relocated to a place that's more suitable and within their zoning um, plan. So there's been a lot going on. So we suggest you watch this episode of Mormonish if you're not familiar. This, however, is an update because a few things have come up since we aired the episode on Friday. Isn't that right? Yeah, they basically happened right after we they <laughs> did. I know, the like, it. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, the uh, mayor has actually come out and has put a halt to the uh, issuing of any building permits. If you remember, the city council took a vote and they uh, went ahead and authorized the uh, permit. However, it seems that some of the people on the uh, planning commission didn't think that they were actually uh, voting for the spire to be a part of the plan mm -hmm. and uh, so the church is arguing that the that that was part of the plan and some of the people on the board are saying no it's not as well as the preserving our cody neighborhood is also Correct. saying that that wasn't included in there so uh, with that they're going to there's a couple things they're going to do the mayor has basically said we're putting a halt on issuing anything while we work it out last tuesday they had a meeting uh and a city council meeting regular city council meeting, and uh, they were hoping it would be brought up and discussed uh, but they tabled it and yeah. didn't bring it up at all for there so uh, at this point what has happened is the preserving our cody neighborhood has written a letter their attorneys written a letter to the city asking them not to issue any permits mm -hmm. uh, at this time and they're taking it to the court they're saying the church filed two lawsuits two lawsuits against them and therefore they're saying at that point it was taken out of the hands of the city council mm -hmm. and it's now in the hands of the district judge uh, because there's f lawsuits filed against it so they're asking that nothing be done until the lawsuits are finalized uh, they have a scheduling appointment with the district judge after labor day and that's when they'll schedule uh, to have the hearings however that's a request from the preserving our cody neighborhood the city council does not have to take that advice. Mm -hmm. They could issue the permit, and that's what the church wants because it's very difficult once you've been issued a permit and start work uh, for a judge or any other entity to come and now say you have to stop work after they've allowed them to start work. So Correct. And as we know, the pieces of the Tip Up Temple, and we talk about this mm -hmm. in our episode, are already there on some land adjacent to the site where they're going to build the temple, just waiting to be tipped up. So if that permit is granted, if the, if the mayor takes back the halt, uh, they could start very quickly to get the infrastructure in place and it could happen like that. So yeah, yeah but uh, we we spoke to the preserve, um, preserving our coding neighborhood people today, and they feel they have a really good case. They feel they have a strong attorney. They were optimistic, and what they really wanted is just the word to get out, even nationally. You know, this is the David and Goliath kind of a situation. And again, to be so clear, um, they would love to have a temple in their town. They just don't want it where it isn't zoned for, on a hill, in a neighborhood, lit brightly with a two lane road no access. All of the people on the committee are of their own religious denominations, and they have all said, if our own religion <laughs> was trying to build some kind of a structure, we would say, no, not here. So it is in no way tied to any kind of, you know, anti-religion, anti-LDS uh, point of view at all. They would be more than happy, but they have been very disheartened by some of the things that they perceive as being, I don't know, underhanded. A yeah. Little... Well, for instance, they can't. They can't even get how many lumens. Uh, the, no. How many lumens the uh, tr uh, temple is going to be lit to? Right. Uh, which is kind of an important thing. Yeah. When it's your neighborhood, the and it's going to be. Uh, is they are just they're trying to get information about you know just the basic structure and the basic oper hours of operation and the lighting, and nobody is forthcoming. So it's a very interesting situation. It seems like there's an article out almost every other day about what's happening. Yeah, Salt Lake Tribune just mm -hmm. put another mm -hmm. one out. Um, so 
Uh, the one thing they can use is your donation. Mm -hmm. um, there is a, and we'll add it to the end of this. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a place you can go to donate. Uh, you can go to their website. Mm -hmm. uh, they, you can mail Facebook. a check. You mail a check. Yep. You can go to Facebook, Preserving Our Coding Neighborhoods, and all these things are listed there. Um, they're just fighting a fight. They would just like the church to obey, can I call it the laws of the land yeah. in that situation and build the temple somewhere more suited in Cody. They're more than happy to have a temple there, but just not where it is slated to go right now. That's right. So, so that's it. We wish them luck. We wish them luck. And uh, anyone who wants to donate, look that up. And that would really help out because they're paying for their own uh, defense yeah. to try to stop this from coming into their neighborhood. That's so. right. And what is the phrase that you kind of coined earlier today, which I think described it because also they told us about, you know, the town is become divided now. And so I think you said you may build a temple, but you're dividing a town. I think yeah. you said it better than that, but there's a lot of fallout from this that may continue long after it's decided, no matter where the temple is built. And that's really unfortunate. I think. Absolutely. Yeah, for everybody. both sides. For both sides. We said the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody for listening. We'll sign off now from Mormonish on Mormon News Roundup. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Mormonish. We really appreciate our listeners and would love to hear from you if you have a story you'd like to share. You can email us at mormonishpodcast at gmail.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram, and on our website, mormonishpodcast.org. And don't forget to look for us on YouTube and like and subscribe. Keep joyful, everybody.